r slash ask reddit by ready reddit wedding shop workers what are your worst bridezilla stories <laughs> florist we had a bride and her mother show up at 9 a.m they wanted to order a bridal bouquet a mother of the bride could tell our orchid corsage about an ear for the groom and six smaller ones for the groomsman the wedding was scheduled for noon yep three hours from then and they wanted them ready by the time they were done with our macup appointment at the beauty parlor a few doors down. The bride was flipping through the FTD sample book and pointing out the style and flowers she wanted. Think garden roses with long sweeping trails of stephanatis and variegated ivy, all three of which would require at least a week's advanced order with our suppliers. She was absolutely gobsmacked that we didn't carry extremely expensive and highly perishable flowers at all times. Same with the Catelia orchid for the mom's corsage. My boss told them that, since they didn't place an order beforehand they would be limited to what we had in stock, and simple styles that could be assembled quickly. The bride and her mom kept pointing at the book, and arguing that we should have those specific flowers in stock. My boss eventually took the book off the desk, and tossed it behind the counter. The bride vacillated between tears and petulant whining, that we were going to ruin her big day. My boss who had a bone deep loathing for brides in general, told her she had ruined her own day by not ordering her flowers before her actual wedding day. The mom tried chewing out my boss for her lack of customer service skills. My boss told her that she was welcome to go down the street to Vons and ask their flower department to make their order with whatever they had in stock. The mom said she'd do just that and reassured the bride that she'd have her flowers done by the time her appointment was over. Both women stormed out. I figured that was that, but my boss told me, and the other girl, to start on six simple dendrobia orchid bouts. Meanwhile she threw together a ribbon wrapped bridal bouquet with some white roses that were nearly past their prime and some more dendrous. Sure enough 20 minutes later the mother of the bride slunk back in and meekly asked if we were still able to assemble what they needed. We did. We also charged her a very large B tax a hem. Rush fee. I love how your boss knew she'd be coming back. Hahaha, <laughs> fellow florist here. We just love it when people will open decide to walk into our store, expecting us to drop everything at once. This is coming from a person who would totally elope. Just I would also not be a douche about it. Is this all you have today? Is my least favorite sentence to come out of a last minute bride's mouth. Also shout out to the bridezilla who came into our shop on Mother's Day to ask if she could have an on the spot bridal consultation. Ducknap, who has time for that on Mother's Day. She and the groom hung around and tried to attack every staff member who went into the walk-in cooler with bridal questions, even though we took a moment to book her an appointment a month away. Edit. Also a shout out to Momzillas. The ones who show up to the bridal consult, look at the bride, tell her to essentially shut the duck up cause it's mom's day to shine, and proceed to macro-manage every aspect of the consult. My mom and I saw a great bridezilla freak out while shopping for my wedding dress a few years back. We were in a small local shop when another mother-daughter duo came in. The attendant who had been helping us went up to greet them. The mother said they were here to pick up her daughter's dress. So the attendant looks her name up in the computer, frowns, and says, Ma'am, you never bought the dress. What are you talking about? The attendant shows the lady the notes on her computer screen. You said you wanted to think about it, and asked if we could hold the dress. We held it for two weeks, but when we didn't hear back from you, we assumed you didn't want it. Well, we want it now. It's been over eight months, the attendant explained. We sold the dress a long time ago. But I can order you another one, and have it expedited here in a few weeks. And like a Mount St. Helens of entitlement, the eruption began. This is unacceptable. The mother shrieked. We have our alterations scheduled in two hours. The wedding is a week away. I can't believe you sold her dress. The bride, meanwhile, is slumped against the desk and sobbing like someone killed her dog. My mom and I are just open mouthed staring at this point. The attendant was trying to be diplomatic, but is clearly as baffled as we are. Ma'am, we had no way to know you wanted it. You never called. You never put down a deposit. The dress isn't yours until you pay for it. After some more screaming from the mother and wailing from the bride, they are left. The shop attendant came back over to us and I asked her, does that kind of thing happen a lot? The poor lady just deflated. All the time. 
It baffles me to this day. How do you schedule alterations on a dress that you never purchased? Why would you wait until a week before the wedding to pick up your dress? How do you make it to adulthood without knowing how basic buying and selling transactions work? TL, DR, turns out dress shops can't read your mind and you need to actually pay money for a wedding dress before it is yours. Go figure. I worked at David's Bridal, and I have to say that I never really had a terrible bride. It was always the moms, grandmas, sisters, and friends that were terrible. Either they hated what the bride would pick out for them to wear, or they would hate what she was picking out for herself to wear. At DB we have kinda strict appointment guidelines when it comes to time, and a lot of brides that would bring on to Raj's wouldn't find a dress because everyone would bombard her with their opinions and overwhelm them. The worst thing I've ever witnessed was when a bride that always struggled with her weight came in. She was overweight and had been working extremely hard on it over the last year. It was a slower day and we all loved her story and wanted to make that day special, so we all decided to help. She finally found a dress that she loved and she started crying along with most of us. Then she looked at her mom and asked for her opinion and her mom looked at her and said you look fat in it. We all stood there in silence and the bride lost her happiness. She asked to be assisted in taking it off and they left. It was one of the saddest days that I had experienced there. I worked at a mom slash pop shop. We had a bride who was Polish, who my boss called Polish princess. She wasn't my bride, but they picked a very bad consultant for her. Made worse by the fact that this girl wanted stuff added to her dress that wasn't done by the manufacturer, so we had to do it all in-house. To give you an example, she wanted lights, those tube lights. I think that's what they are called, all around the bottom half of a dress that we had already spliced with two different dresses. Side note, my boss loved anything that meant money. In a hoe, we spent months fixing and refitting this dress, because she not only lost 45 pounds from her first time being measured, which brought her 4 dress sizes less than her original, she also got a massive boob job, brush gear. Well, after finally fitting her into her gown, on the last week she decided the lights that took our poor 70 year old semstress 2 months to sew in, looked tacky. She was crying and throwing herself at her mother in a tantrum, screaming in polish all this crazy stuff. She ripped the bottom of the dress and ultimately had to buy a dress from David's bridal, because my boss finally got smart and kicked her out. Just a mess. She made our semstress cry. The douche. Wow. Who could have imagined a light up wedding dress would be tacky? I worked at a high end bridal shop in my early 20s. One day, I had a bride to be shopping for a gown and she had brought her mom, aunt, and sister, who had just become a new mom, with her to her appointment. The sister was obviously a little jealous that attention was no longer being lavished on her and her new baby, and instead the bride was the now the center of attention. As I was fitting the bride in a $2,500 Lazero bridal gown, the sister decided to change her newborn's diaper in the dressing room and proceeded to hold the poo-filled diaper up to the gold-hued gown and exclaim look the colors almost match. I excused myself from the room for fresh air and to regain composure. In my experience the brides were rarely the problem the family was. What the duck is wrong with people? I worked management at a resort in a popular tourist town. When weddings are booked at our venue with the event coordinator we can hold certain number of rooms for guests attending. A manager was always required to check in the bridal couple, and I had been given a heads up by the coordinator on Bridezilla. They wanted a room on the highest floor and closer to the beach. They were booked into the honeymoon suite third floor, ocean views. Nope. She wanted higher and closer. Had an absolute meltdown at the front desk when I explained there was nothing higher or closer. A colleague of mine ran for the event coordinator when she started screaming at me and her husband to be. He was very apologetic and trying to calm her down. She was placated and sent off with keys. Less than 30 minutes later she was back and demanding we empty the rooms next to and below her. Honey those rooms cost $640 a night and we are fully booked. I was lucky enough to not be working the night of the wedding, but I heard all about her abusing the wait staff, kicking the band out for playing a song she didn't like, and the screaming match she got into with her mother-in-law. 
What a peach. All up the wedding was about $40,000 and she made everyone miserable. The groom left out front desk staff and box of wine to apologize for her behavior. Not the only bridezilla, but definitely the craziest I had. Thank you for watching Ready Reddit. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more r slash ask Reddit videos. Share your stories in the comment section below.